Hi, Olivia. How are you? Uh, it's so good to see you again. It's been more than a month that uh, we are back from COP. So uh, how have you been doing since COP and what are you busy with nowadays? Oh, hi, Prakriti. Thank you. Yeah, I'm okay. Uh, coming from uh, a rest now, uh, I'm starting to my work, my everyday work. Yeah. So what about you? Uh, I have been doing good. I am involved in uh, research activities in few organizations in Nepal. Along with that, I am working on publishing my uh, thesis report now. That's great. So Prakriti, uh, what uh, can uh, I can say? What uh, variable lesson did you learn about being a negotiator? One way why we were uh, at CERN the last year. Mm -hmm. Um, as a negotiator, uh, you are not representing you, but your country. So it's very important to know uh, our position, our targets, goals, and, and what we as a country want uh, as output from the country. So uh, we should be very uh, mindful about that. And apart from that, I learned that when we speak in blog, it makes uh, more sense. Uh, it makes more impact um, than speaking alone, especially for small and least level countries like Nepal. Uh, Olivia, we have been uh, following for more than a year now uh, what would you uh, what would be your top advice uh, to someone who is attending negotiation for the first time this year you must pick uh, something you are going to follow yeah, it's not good that you are going to follow everything and also you need to get as much information so that you will be ready while you will be attending those negotiations and also you have to be sure that you are surrounded by many experienced people that will guide you uh, when we be uh, at the COP or in negotiations what about you what do you think about it um, yes, adding to what you just said, uh, I would advise them to get in touch with people within your country, if possible, uh, who attended UNFCCC sessions uh, before to get an overview of what to expect from the negotiations. And also yeah. visiting UNFCCC websites uh, will be very helpful because uh, we can get uh, the documents of different agenda items and also uh, the schedules uh, from the website. Awesome. So Prakriti, uh, during COP27, uh, me and you were in a mentorship program, and uh, I think you were mentored by Isa too. Yes, the mentorship program uh, helped me to have someone around me to uh, ask questions. He helped me by uh, responding to my questions and also guiding me to what to expect from the first week and the second week uh, of the COP. And also my experience was very unique and she provided me with answers and documents that was especially about loss and damage finance, which is also in her expertise, uh, that helped me to get more details on, on the financial part and um, th that I couldn't get anywhere else. So uh, what about you? What, how did your mentor, Amikani, help you as a mentor in your daily basis? It helped me a lot as Yamikani was not my first time to see him and he was very friendly to me and also if uh, from, from the time we, we, we started before starting the negotiation week uh, he helped me to organize myself before the starting of the, the negotiations also he asked me to outline my goals and how I will achieve them and then he had some useful inputs and also most of the time he asked me to give him a daily report by saying that we need it again to use those reports at the time i will be reporting for the for the whole session and also i, I tried asking him a lot of questions about the best way to engage with technical text and it helped me a lot uh, because i was uh, ready during the negotiations room thank you so much olivia it was so nice uh, talking with you after so long period of time yeah thank you so much for me too it was so much to see you again